Oh, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Check it out. I got the fairing laying there. I got tools everywhere all over the garage. Been working on the bike for the past three hours. Really cool. We did actually two upgrades. I was able to do two upgrades for you guys today and I think they look badass. But right before we start, we're gonna give it a name and someone commented in a video, I guess maybe one or two videos uh, ago, commented, why don't you keep it in the same theme as Silverback as our other bike? And why don't you just name it King Kong? And I really, really like that idea. But I'm gonna change it up a little bit. King Kong is a little long. We're just gonna cut it down. We're gonna use Kong. So our Cycle Fanatics 2022 Black Road Glide is Kong. <laughs> All right, I think the name's pretty cool. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, but the new nickname for the bike is Kong. Anyway, let's get on with this video. All right, guys, I, I mean, I got, I got everything's happening in the garage today. I'm literally, I'm not even joking. I'm trying to make this video and like the brain's not working today. Sometimes that happens. I literally, I think I restarted this video probably about 15 times already. Oh my God, what a joke. Like I just started doing this. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I got the fairing there. I took off the rear passenger pegs because I don't ride two up. I took off the crash guard. Also, chrome fairing brackets that are mounted to the crash guard that are mounted up that hold the fairing. I also took off, I'll show you that piece right there, is actually from here. It covers chrome piece. It covers the fork tube it's like a fork tube, I guess, brace. It covers that. And look what else I took off. I guess they're called cowbells. That's what Dave calls them. I'll call them that too. But we took off the cowbells. We ripped them off. You're probably asking why I took them off. Well, number one is for the looks. I want it more sleeker. I want it more sportier. We don't need it. And also there's some components that are coming in for this entire front suspension system that are gonna be replaced. So anyway, took them off. Took off the reflectors on the front and on the bags on the back. I think we might put on possibly the smoke reflectors may not i don't know once i'm done uh taking off the glue off of the chrome i'll take a look and see what happens with that anyway let's get right down to it santoro fabworks crash guard santoro fabworks highway pegs and zero 3d light cannons that's what got done today anybody wondering before the crash bar came up and around like a big elephant ear got mounted up there down the santoro fabworks mounts in the same spot but then it gets mounted with two bolts underneath there and then what happens over here because the old setup where your fairing brackets came down and were mounted onto the crash bar, you no longer have that. It's nice and sleek and open now. Now you have this kind of like a Y bar which comes down from the fairing and gets mounted to where the crash bar used to be mounted. So that, I got it in black. That's all nice and sleek. You can't see it, it blends in with the frame. And the Santoro Fabworks bar, really, really nice. Inch and a quarter. Let me show you guys really quick. Let me hop on the bike. Bike's actually sitting on my new Let's Roll Cruiser lift and dolly system. I absolutely love this thing. I'm telling you, I don't know how I manage without it because the bike was literally like over there before I moved it over into the center of the garage. I didn't have to pull it forward, back. And I know that's easy as well, but it's just so much more convenient just to unlock the two casters and push the bike over. I love it, especially for, you know, basically like a small garage that I have. If you're working in a small space, it is just really good. Links down below in the description if you wanna take a look. Right here, as you guys can see, I'm sitting on the bike. The stand is like super, super sturdy. Bike doesn't even rock back and forth or side to side. But 
as you guys can see with the Santoro Fabworks bar design and highway peg, I'll be able to rest my foot on top of it. Or if I want a slight bend in my knees, I could rest them like that on top of it. It is perfect length. I'm about six foot two inches tall. The light cannons aren't in the way. Let me hop off really quick. And just so you guys know, everything that I took off the bike today, with the new upgrades installed, I actually was able to shave one pound off of the 820 pound wet weight that Harley claims. So it's actually 819 pounds now. I know you guys may not say, hey, that's nothing, but we're trying to shave pound here, four pounds there, 15 pounds there. Hopefully the goal is to try to shave close to 50 pounds. Um, we're gonna try, we're gonna try our best. That's the setup that we're gonna be rocking for the crash guard. I think it looks fantastic. I seen it on a couple bikes, loved how it looked, and that's what we went with. We got the Ciro 3D light cannons, I think, it looks absolutely wicked on Kong. Look at that. It, it really, really looks good. It just opened up this entire area right here with just one bar instead of, you know, that big kind of elephant ear bar. You got a lot of crash protection. You have a place to rest your legs. Awesome thing is as well, this is all open because now with this Y bar set up, it holds the fairing. All of this is nice and open. So the light cannon's really super easy to install. I just ran the wire up and over, all nice and wire tied up into the fairing here. I just have to put a couple more wire ties on it. Ciro 3D light cannons come with a wiring harness. Really simple to hook up, super simple. And if you guys are curious how I set mine up and I set it up on Silverback the same way is when I turn the light, the power on, let me show you guys. When I turn the power onto the bike, I have my low beam on with the halos on the light cannons. But when I turn the high beam on onto the main headlight, the main beam comes on to the light cannon. That's how I wanted them to work. So this way, when I need more light, I get double kind of power. I get the main headlight high beam on with the halo and the high beam main beam in the center on the light cannon. And let me tell you, the links will be down below in the descriptions if you guys wanna check it out. But the light cannons make a tremendous difference. There is no comparison. The stock lighting on a Harley Davidson is not sufficient in my opinion. I rode in pitch black darkness and I'm not talking about just like darkness around town where you still have some street lights. When we went and did the iron butt back from Daytona coming through the Virginia mountains, when we went and did the bun burner going through the Adirondack National Park in way upstate New York, pitch black darkness, nobody around for three hours, no zero lights, I mean zero lights. The light cannons are just phenomenal. They light up the road about 300 yards in front of you, 100 yards, wide and it's just amazing. It's really important in my opinion. That is like I've always talked about that one of the most important things on your bike is suspension, is lighting, comfort, the most important items. But I believe lighting is probably at the top of that list. And I think the light cannons on that Santoro Fabworks bar look Ridiculous, I have not seen a setup like that yet. I think it looks great. We removed a lot of the clutter bullshit that goes on top of here. Don't need that, remove the cowbells. And you just gotta wait and trust me because like I said, we have something really special for the suspension um, that we're still waiting on. Once that comes in, we're gonna be taking the bike over to JD Cycle Works in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. He's gonna do his magic there. Can't wait, bar setup is gonna be totally trick. Suspension's going to be totally trick and can't wait to tell you what's going on with the engine and the exhaust because that's going to be something new and different so i can't wait so like i said guys hit me up in the comments let me know what you guys think about the santoro fabworks bar crash bar slash highway peg setup let me know what you guys think i really like it i mean look at it from here how nice and clean that looks i really like it it's just something totally different i love it 
Also guys, com some components, if you guys are interested, the crash bar, chrome crash bar with the chrome fairing brackets, I am actually selling that. I'm selling the that as one piece and then I'm selling the pass chrome passenger pegs with both floorboards, with the brake pedal and brake lever and the shifter, chrome shifter floorboards as well everything all in one package if you guys are interested in any of those components they will be on the website just shoot me an email or just go to the website and i'll ship that out to you but we're going to be changing all that out as well i can't wait for you guys to see what we have in store for the controls because you're never going to see nothing like it I've only seen one bike that had it and that's what made me get it. And I am super excited here in the next couple weeks to show you guys what we have for that control setup, foot control setup. It is wicked, wicked, can't wait. So she's coming together and like I said, I'm not including the weight with the tour pack, that just make believe it's off. But as far as the bike, 820 pounds stock weight, we were able to shave one pound off. I weighed everything on my scale inside my office. We were able to shave one pound off. From the old stuff that came off to all the new stuff that came on today, one pound of weight savings so as time goes on and all the other upgrades we're going to be like i said we're going to be weighing it weighing the new stuff weighing the old stuff and seeing we're going to try to shave as much weight as possible off of this road glide all right guys short video for today but uh stay tuned for the next one i'm just going to keep on going we're going to start adding a whole bunch of other zero 3d lighting products onto the bike because we have the fairing off now's the time to do it and then i'm going to be actually showing you the difference at nighttime with these light cannons on our next ride so this way you guys could see how amazing they work it's truly like night and day thanks for watching guys if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys on the next one peace out